Okay, I'm finally in Israel. Of course, to understand today's Israel and the surrounding territories, you have to understand its history. This should only take a minute. By 1300 BC, settlers had created the kingdoms of Israel and Judah, who were conquered by the Babylonians, who were conquered by the Greeks, who were conquered by the Romans, who were conquered by the Byzantines, who were conquered by the Arabs, who were conquered by the Crusaders, who were conquered by the Ottomans, who were conquered by the British, who helped the dream of a Jewish homeland, and were supplanted by Jewish refugees fleeing from Nazis, who were given an insane map for two new countries by the United Nations, followed by the declaration of the State of Israel, which led to a war with Arab nations, which led to thousands of refugees, a crisis with Egypt, another war with Arabs, an occupation, terrorism, Yasser Arab fat, another war with Arabs, USA to Israel, a settlement policy, a peace treaty, a war with Lebanon, a Palestinian uprising, a proposed peace treaty, an assassination, another Palestinian uprising, another war with Lebanon, more settlements, more terrorism, a separation wall, surging economic growth, negative economic growth, Hamas and the PLA versus Israel, Hamas versus the PLA, Israeli Jews versus American Jews, Israeli Orthodox Jews versus Israeli Conservative Jews versus Israeli Reform Jews, Jewish and Arab men against Jewish and Arab women, more settlements, Bar Raphaeli, the Israeli Gaza conflict, Israel hating Obama, Israel loving Trump, Israelis and Palestinians confused by Jared Kushner, three of the holiest sites in the world built on top of each other, plus Druze, Bedouins, and one Buddhist. All setting the table for a visit by me, Conan O'Brien. My mission? To try and make some people laugh, and in the process, alienate everyone. Live. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Conan Israel Live Q&A. Yes. That's right, we are here with Jose Arroyo, Jesse Gaskell, writers on our show, and of course, Conan O'Brien, before we get started, Conan uh, has something he wanted to say. Yes, uh, I wanted to point out, uh, we have done many travel shows. Uh, one of my all-time favorites is the show that we did in Mexico, in Mexico City. Uh, we made an incredible number of friends there, and that was a very important show to us. And uh, obviously, Mexico has been very hard hit uh, by a terrible earthquake, and a lot of people in Mexico City are suffering right now. Uh, this morning, I tweeted out... Uh, some uh, information if you're interested in donating or looking for any way to help. Uh, I tweeted out some information that might be useful and uh, maybe you could give that uh, a look uh, if you could. And uh, just our, our thoughts and our prayers are with uh, the beautiful people of Mexico right now and, and we're thinking of them. Absolutely. Viva Mexico. Nos queremos mucho. Oh, I didn't oh, realize you spoke. What did you say there? Did you say Conan uh, is an idiot? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I loosely just, translated. Yeah, loosely translated. It was, it was no, we, we I've heard the much. word idiota yeah. now, but... <laughs> you hear what you want to. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Uh, happy Rosh Hashanah, everybody, and nice. uh, Shalom. Oh. Thank you for joining us today. And um, yes, I mean, you, know, you bring up a good point. Uh, Mexico City, this is our seventh uh, travel show we've done. Israel's our seventh one. That's I hard to believe. Yeah. Uh, oh. Cuba, Armenia, Qatar, Korea, Mexico City, and Berlin. And uh, what are, right up top, what are the challenges of shooting uh, in a place like Israel? Well, shooting a in show. a lot of ways, uh, I think Israel was is the most difficult because uh, clearly, as, as you saw in that opening that we wanted to make, we wanted to very quickly sum up how complex it is there. Yeah. And there's a there's a misconception that uh, in Israel there are two points of view and that there are two opposing sides. Mm -hmm. What we tried to set up in that uh, in that opening of the show was to educate people that there are not two points of view. There are 65 <laughs> or maybe 165 different points of view, yeah. and uh, it's a very small landmass land area. It's about the size of I think New the state of New Jersey. Mm -hmm. It's very small, and um, you have a lot of people there who feel very intensely, uh, they feel their beliefs very intensely and they disagree. And there's obviously been a whole history of violence and uh, there's a lot there that, uh, uh, there's a lot of conflict and we went there and obviously the main goal is to try and bring comedy to the situation and basically just take it down to a human level. Doing, doing that, that in Israel and threading the needle of trying to be respectful uh, to so many different points of view was incredibly difficult. It was a real challenge. Right. And so I wanted to start by giving it up for uh, my team, uh, uh, Jose, uh, Jesse, they've come on all the travel shows. He's sitting in the back for reasons we don't understand. <laughs> Mike Sweeney. Right. Mike Sweeney, yeah. can you just 
uh, <laughs> creeper just, in the corner. Can't you just come in and like sit on the edge of the chair? This doesn't have to look that <laughs> nice, <laughs> you know. Mike <laughs> Sweeney yeah. is. Uh, I, I don't want to. I don't want to scare away younger viewers. <laughs> no, <laughs> Mike Sweeney, don't be fooled, kids. He's only 28. <laughs> He's only 28. <laughs> he did a lot of a lot of drugs <laughs> in the early 2000s, and um, so that's why you know don't do drugs. Uh, but. Uh, this is the team right here that goes with me, and they work incredibly hard. And we debated, I think, more than any other episode. We had intense debates about, um, you know, how we should approach this, what we should do, you know, where we should go. And uh, it was, I, th I think, I'm very proud of the fact that we're so honest with each yeah. other and that we quarrel so much. Uh, we became a microcosm for the state of Israel. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. And That's then true. Uh, when it was done, I think it really created a product. Uh, when I say, I hate the word product. We, we created a show that I feel as impossible it is uh, to encapsulate what's going on in Israel in 40 minutes. I thought we, we gave people a little bit of taste. And, and I was very happy that one of the reactions I heard the most from young people, especially young Americans, was, oh, I, I didn't know some of that stuff. Right. They right. laughed really hard, but uh, they also were intrigued and wanted to find out more. So I thought that was cool. Yeah, and uh, Numir on Facebook said, a great condensed history lesson. So there we go. They didn't know a lot of that stuff, and now they're learning. See, guys, you can learn stuff by watching yeah, our show. Yeah, <laughs> if, if, I've always said, if people learn something from watching our show, we're not doing our job. <laughs> <laughs> we're really, we're supposed to be, we're supposed to be funny. Yeah. That's right. Uh, on Facebook, Matt Furston uh, asks a very basic question to step back. Uh, and this is for uh, these three guys right here. Uh, uh, what are the challenges of shooting in a remote location versus a studio? And we're talking very remote. We're talking sure, about across the world. Sure. What, what are the first steps there? How do we do it? How do we do it? How does well, it work? Jet lag is always a challenge. Jet lag is a challenge. <laughs> That's That's true. True. It's, it's very good. It's also, it's a really good, this would be a good moment not to instruct you guys how to answer, <laughs> but uh, you're fired if you don't. Follow my instructions. I think uh, giving our props to the Naui, the Naui, uh, yes. the Naui crew in Israel would be important. So step That's one is have a good ground crew uh, of, of producers in, where, in the Local, country that you're yeah. going to. Asaf uh, and uh, Roni yes. and Neve, yes. thank Shout you. Shout out to them. They're exactly. an amazing crew. Exactly. Yeah. Very attractive too. Yeah, yeah. Yes. everyone there. Yeah. Yeah, Basically, they were camera uh, ready. But they were uh, the, na the the production uh, company that we used. The, the Naui people were Naui Pro. Yes, the, Naui Pro. They they were really instrumental because Mike and uh, was talking to them right away, long quite a while before we made the trip. Right, Mike and yeah, well, and J Jason and Jason. Jason, right. let's give our props to Jason, yes. true warrior. Jason. Yeah, Jason was the one dealing with them. Uh, he, Jason is always the front man. With with our local producers and er, he, every show we've done, he always gets. You're just like wow, these they're amazing. They know everything. Uh, they facilitate everything, and and we make stuff up as we go. Right. And we always have these teams that that are just right there with us and yeah. turn and on a dime. And have good comedy sensibility yes. too. Everyone, yes. And yeah. The more, the more you prepare ahead of time, the easier yes. right. you can adjust to the things that are going to come up inevitably. Uh, Right. Changes of schedule or yes. uh, availability. Things well, they like also that. just tell you, uh, you know, we didn't know. Uh, I think also people in Israel were stunned. While we were in Israel, people just kept saying the same thing. Conan's everywhere. <laughs> He's <laughs> everywhere. That's true. And I think what, they, what they're accustomed to is maybe a celebrity stops in, if they stop in at all, and they come to Tel Aviv and they make a, t a few TV appearances to promote whatever they're doing, and then they're gone. And... Every time it, it, it was covered a lot in, in the Israeli press, but I was just I was constantly in a completely different yeah. part of the country. We <laughs> yes. were always in yes. again uh, the size of New Jersey. The size so of New Jersey, uh, no, not but uh, yeah. <laughs> wow, he's in Bloomfield. Yeah, exactly. But, but hours but on was, the bus. We, we no, had a couple three-hour bus rides. Yeah. Hours on the bus and 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 just sort of going through the desert. And every now and then, I'd nod off on the bus and then wake up and look out the window, and you'd see camels go <laughs> yes. by. Yes. Yeah. And. Um, and so it was, uh, I, I think the fact that we had going in prepared is so important. And all of us also tried to educate ourselves as much as possible. We read histories of Israel. We read different histories of Israel. I was reading some uh, is Israeli uh, fiction, just trying to immerse myself in some of the issues. I talked to friends who are very passionate. I talked to friends that are passionate on uh, different sides. 
And so the more you can immerse yourself in that before you go, yeah. so that when you go into the country, you're not going in cold. I think that would be the biggest mistake to just show yes. up and go, what's this Israel place? What's going on? <laughs> hey, what's hey you, on? where can I get a pork sandwich? You know, <laughs> that, would be, uh, that would be stupid. Uh, and, and you had never been there before. Had, had anyone, has anyone been to Israel before this trip? No. So, no. And so what surprised you guys about, about it? Like when you got there, you know, your preconceived notions versus what it's actually like. What was the biggest... You, Jose, yeah. you kind of mentioned everyone was camera ready, that everyone was very good oh, looking. No, it's, 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 it's true. That they, uh, yes. But in Tel Aviv, uh, it, I, I, they take their Sabbath very seriously. I yes. thought that was uh, uh, you know, a fascinating thing. Um, the store shut down, then after a certain period at sundown, the stores would reopen, yeah. and, um, and that was just par for the course. Their Sunday is our Monday. Right. Uh, so The way it changes the culture is very interesting. Exactly. Their Thursday exactly. is our Friday. Yes, exactly. Yes. exactly. You want to go through every day of the week? Uh, their Wednesday. Uh, okay. when, again. <laughs> Strangely, their Wednesday is our Sunday. Uh, no no one does, understands does why that's true. Uh, and they have no Thursday. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thursday was eliminated years ago. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, of course, in, you know, this is our seventh show we've done, so we've spent a lot of time together. Uh, Kyla Nelson from Facebook asks, what's the best behind-the-scenes story from Israel? There's always things that oh. don't make the show because we're not filming a lot of time. My, yeah. f my favorite is, uh, well, there's a, lot from, there's a lot of great moments from this one, uh, but my favorite is that I wear a mic uh, all the time when I'm shooting because what happens is something... Everything you, so many of the great moments that you saw in the show, hap, they really happen. Like the old man I, I bump into, David, who ends up taking me up to his apartment, that just happened. We, we, we bumped into him and then I said, let's go. And we went up to his apartment. One of the reasons I think that's so funny to people is that you can tell it's really happening. You can't, you can't create a moment like that. They just happen. So that means I need to be mic'd all the time. And we usually have to have cameras rolling. Um, we were in the bus and I had my microphone on and everyone here, all of the producers, have these little uh, headsets that they wear so that they can hear what I'm saying uh, if I'm talking so to people we can on guess camera. Jokes or suggest things. Yes. Yeah. On the fly. I just now, like listening to Cohen. Yeah. <laughs> but I will say this: yeah. I always assumed that when I'm not shooting and say we're on the bus chilling, you wouldn't be listening. <laughs> Jose was not on our bus, and we all like to uh, make fun of. I was on the of... bus behind his. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Per your contract. Per your contract. <laughs> and um, I've got my earphones. He's, he's got earphones in, and I start just making uh, random <laughs> jokes about Jose. Oh, Jose's so fussy. Yeah. Oh, Jose is so <laughs> yeah. uptight. Oh, he's probably in the back eating a tiny pear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, I have a reputation. Yeah, I, 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 have, a tiny pear. I have these jokes that I do about yes, Jose sir. about how Euro he is yeah. and how he's fussy and he's always, you know, fastidious and he's very always neatly dressed and he's... And so I was just doing, I think, fairly uh, my harmless routine about Jose when it's related to me that Jose is listening to all of this. <laughs> and I I oh, yeah. Yeah. Tell Conan I can hear everything. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, and Jose had a single tear, and uh, we had it analyzed, and it was 80% flan. Yeah. So, uh, but anyway, that was fun. But I yes. would say there were so many. Oh, I have a good one. Uh. We were in the church uh, of the Nativity in Bethlehem. Yes. And this is a good opportunity uh, yeah, this is to also great. give a shout out to our crew. Um, yes. Warriors. Uh, we yeah. call them the Warriors. Seth St. Vincent, Seth Saint James Vincent. Palcheski, and Jason, Jason Munoz. Munoz. Jason does the audio for us and he always, and we're all, when we go in these, like, we'll go into these tiny spaces that are ancient yes. um, and we, we're like bulls in a china shop because we have all this equipment and we're, you know, these Shooting big Shooting documentary big crew style, guys. yes, yes. Yeah, and so Jason has his giant boom mic that he's always kind of like whipping around quickly <laughs> following Conan. And, and a boom <laughs> mic, which just makes sure people understand, it's a long stick with what looks like a cylindrical uh, furry mop at the end. D you know, dust, a big, you know, a duster. It looks like something that you would dust Swiffer, the top of a, yeah. a Swiffer yeah, at the end. And uh, he, oh, okay. uh, well, there's, right. a, yeah. yeah. Imagine, right there. imagine uh, that. With a Muppet at the end. But with like a giant fuzzy thing at the end. So anyway, continue. So oh, it's, it's swinging Jesus. around like this inside the, the Church of the Nativity where Jesus is it's a rumored to have been born. Yeah. I'm gonna get letters for that. Um, <laughs> and we, we just suddenly hear a, cl a clatter and um, we look over and Jason is covered in oil from these lamps that are hanging, really like a centuries old lamps and he's now drenched in oil. 
um, and it's all over the floor. <laughs> and I don't. I think several people might have died. Today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was also the uh, the. It was the manger. Which, yeah, it's, believe it's, it or not, isn't very big. Yeah, it's yeah. the manger <laughs> where. Well, you know, uh, site of uh, probably a site of uh, Christ's uh, birth, and um, they. It's also terrifying. I've had many occasions where we've been in a sort of sacred site, and you can see uh, Munoz walking through with his boom, and it's always just missing, like the Mona Lisa. <laughs> you know, like this priceless work of art that everyone's put a lot of thought into how to protect it, and Munoz is always trying to adjust his, I'm, I'm gonna say, he, I love him, I love him, but he's not the most, and he's always got like nine packs, and he's sweating, and he's adjusting levels, and this stick is waving around crazily, and it will just miss, you know, the statue of David, David, it'll, you know, it'll come around and almost hit the Venus de Milo, and it's your heart's in your mouth the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> so we shouldn't it's be allowed. It's on them for letting us in. It's on, you know, it's yeah. on. You see the equipment, and they yeah. wave him in. So. Uh, uh, Craig Jaffer from Facebook asks, and we get this question literally every time we do a live Q&A, so let's just get it out of the way. Is this, do we have sex with each other? Right. No, uh, it was, where it. is Jordan? Where is Jordan during all this? Let's just get this out of the way. Where is Jordan when we were in Israel? People, uh, believe it or not, every country we go to, people, people <laughs> I don't country. care where we are, people are like, where is Jordan? <laughs> Antarctica. Antarctica, yes, yes. you know, it's always uh, uh, Germany. <laughs> where is Jordan? You know, there's, everyone wants to know where Jordan is. We were joking about when we were at the Dead Sea. We actually thought about yeah. this before Yes. Then. We're like, well, we'll visit the Dead Sea, and on the other side, the Dead Sea is the border between uh, Israel and in parts of the West Bank and Jordan. That's right. So that's we were going to have to go, you know, on this side of in Israel, uh, <laughs> there's the Dead Sea, and if you pan the camera, you can see Jordan. And we were going to fly Jordan in. <laughs> just to, just to put it on the other side of the Dead Sea. Of course, looking, uh, looking like a self-satisfied ass. Yeah. Standing there. Um, like he always you know, we're going to bring Jordan on a, on a travel show that makes sense. Uh, mostly... Antarctica. Yeah. <laughs> I do want to bring him on one uh, because I think the fans want it so badly. Um, it just has to be it has to be the perfectly right or perfectly wrong fit. Yes. yes. <laughs> and um, we also know that if we take Jordan, and I'm not even kidding about this, the you know we have to try and be cost effective on these things or somewhat responsible. The uh, the bill for Jordan o insists <laughs> on eating the finest foods, That's and I'm not true. even kidding about this. That's true. So we're sometimes kind of down and dirty, just hitting a restaurant true. and whatever, having the local Gold Star beer and. And, and you know, having some quick Mediterranean Another food and on the run, he go. will have found the <laughs> the restaurant we have to go to, and he'll make sure that we order the most expensive wines. <laughs> he'll put a lot of thought <laughs> into it, and then we won't have money to like edit the show. Right. So. right. <laughs> Actually, David uh, Granovsky asked, Gold Star or Maccabee? Maccabi? How do you say it? Maccabi. Maccabi beer. I, I'm a gold star guy. Gold star Just guy. because uh, I did a commercial for him, <laughs> and, I'm, right I'm, the and, and I want my money. Have you, have you heard? <laughs> That's right. I've not heard from gold star. Hey, gold star, <laughs> I get you guys a solid. That's and, right. Uh, there should be some form of repayment. We can talk about what that is. I'm just putting it out there. Uh, Sweeney brought up the Dead Sea. We went to the Dead Sea, which was an amazing experience. Uh, now, Conan, you covered yourself in mud. Did the mud really make a difference on your skin? No. Okay. I, I didn't. I, <laughs> okay. Look, I'm, I probably didn't leave it on long enough, right. but it's you're supposed to feel amazing afterwards. Yes. I, um, I'm not the most in tune with my body. I have a lot of <laughs> body oh, shame, and I grew up a very a Irish turn. Catholic. Yes. So, yeah. So, oh, gosh. no, I don't notice things about my body. Right. You could take a piece of my body off, and I probably wouldn't know for several years. So I didn't notice anything, but people swear by that mud. You guys did the mud too, right? Yeah, we all did. So what did you guys think? What did you guys think? Did it make your skin smoother? Did it... Well, the, uh, just being in the sea felt, it, it, it sort of smoothed out your skin. I don't know, there was and, something... And what was it like for people who haven't been to the Dead Sea? What is it like being in... What does it feel like? It's crazy. You can't... It's slick. It feels oily on, on you. It's so viscous. And you viscous. can't walk out past a, per, a certain point without floating. Like, your legs will kick up behind right. you. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But you're not allowed to swallow the water or get it in your eyes, yes. so it's very relaxed. Yeah, it's poison. <laughs> yeah. It's, what a it's great, awful. What a great, <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> but uh, but again, uh, I met a very attractive woman there, uh, and that's, that's right. I you know I'm just saying if you're single, uh, I think. <laughs> Um, Dead Sea. I mean, I was floating in the Dead Sea for 30 seconds and when I noticed uh, a very attractive uh, woman. Never again. And, uh, you know, I put the moves on her. Um, again, still batting zero. Uh, Can't wear your wedding ring in the Dead Sea, right? Can't no, they told me you yeah. have to take your wedding ring off because uh, it would, I, I think it's so salty that it would tarnish uh, the, the gold. And so... Um, it's this kind of interesting thing where they're like, remove your wedding ring, Ooh. go in, and here's some ladies in bikinis. And I, I'm just saying it felt a little like a setup to me. That's right. <laughs> Another reason to go to the Dead Sea is they say it will, it's drying up a, a few meters a year. Yeah. Right. That's the That's metric right. system. And that it, it'll be gone in like, I don't know, uh, 30 or 40 years. Because it was 3,000. And it's actually, it's man, it's man-made. So right. it, I mean, it, the it's Dead not, Sea isn't man-made, but uh, because they've, the crisis is man-made because water's right. been diverted um, using these different dams, and so it's it's losing. And you can you can actually witness when you're there. They show you, oh, the beach used to be here, right. but now it's uh, 25 feet that, that way. way. Right. So uh, they were saying the same, same thing about Sea of Galilee. Yeah, right. Sea of Galilee. Yeah. By the way, Sea of Galilee. Uh -huh. We went to the Sea of Galilee, yeah. and uh, I. Did an interv uh, an interview uh, there? Gary Alfie, the uh, the host of uh, Chaim Belila, which yeah. is kind of the Tonight Show of uh, Israel. Yeah, nice. Okay, good. Hurtful. Uh, <laughs> Gary, <laughs> Trigger. Gary, why not the Conan? I think it's actually Conan show. why not the Conan the show Con of Israel? The Conan. Of he Israel. always brings up the Tonight Show. He did say right, Conan. The Tonight I Show know. of Israel. <laughs> Uh, no, Guri is a um, <laughs> Guri is a uh, enjoy uh, Blaze last appearance. Um, no, uh, Guri is a really funny uh, comedian, and so we shot a thing. It was a really funny idea where that I'm, I did for his show in Israel, where we're both just, you just see our heads floating in the Sea of Galilee, and he was so much fun to yeah. riff with and and to uh, improv with, and I'm sure that's going to be up. Somewhere yes. that interview because, because it's, it's really, really funny, funny and uh, I like when Munoz, our sound guy. Oh my God! Again, <laughs> yeah, Munoz. Like, on a boat, and oh. you're you're getting on this roll, and we're looking behind you. And the boat got the anchor came up from the mud or something, and it was just <laughs> forty <laughs> yards <laughs> away. So, so our yes. our sound guy, Munoz. I don't know it because it's behind me, but only, suddenly I see these three are laughing and holding their mouths, and I thought. I'm being funny right now, I think, but I'm not being that funny. And I thought, what What did I, is it, am I making a funny face today? And then I, re one of them gestures behind me and I look and Munoz and our, with, a, with the sound equipment in a boat has drifted probably like a quarter mile away. And we had to stop taping and get him to come back. And he's like, what? I, I thought you guys moved. He's like, we didn't move. That's right. Yeah, and somehow on the way back, uh, the boom that he was carrying uh -huh. smashed three uh -huh. Ming vases. <laughs> right. <laughs> Floating yeah. in, yes, in the sea. Uh, Eileen uh, from Facebook says, 87.68 of happiness is my life is directly derived from Conan. I think that's how much happiness is derived from Jason Munoz for us, yeah. I think, <laughs> seeing him. There was another... What's the other 12 point... Can she do it? Can she do the math? I don't know. <laughs> um, well, why don't we take a second and say that's a nice compliment. Thank and you. Thank you very much. And thank that, you, Eileen. You know, uh, I uh, we put a lot of work into um, making the, the, the show itself and then these travel shows and the nightly show. And so um, when I meet people who get pleasure out of what we're doing, it means every it means everything to me because we we put a ton of effort into this. Absolutely. And actually, uh, Cultura Ed Editoria from YouTube says, when you visit Portugal, all those tourists already miss you. There's a lot of comments. Oh. Uh, some of those Portugal tourists in we ran Jerusalem. into in, oh. in Old yes. Jerusalem yeah. are in the chat watching if you want to say hi. Oh, hello. Uh, yes. oh. Do we know what is, how do you say hello in Portuguese? I, uh, I, I don't know how to say hello in Portuguese. Can they contact us quickly and tell us if they want to <laughs> yeah, say hello to you? That That's was right. really funny. It was a, that whole cruise row. ship, right? Yes. And it was, it was it's so much fun to just keep saying, oh, and, and since then, yes. I keep running into people. People keep coming up to me 
This has happened a number of times in the last week and a half where people have come up to me and it happened in London. I was just in London shooting something that I think you're going to see in a couple of days that I am ex very excited about. More on that later. But I was in London <laughs> and shooting something uh, just a couple of days ago and people in London were coming up to me saying, I'm Portuguese and I just want to say hi <laughs> because you know, I'm like, <laughs> Wait, what? Yes, there are people that, that that had seen what I guess because you live streamed yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, and the other thing is when we were in London, we finished shooting and we went into a pub, and this British guy who's I want to say thirty years old in a pub in some nondescript part of London. I walk in and he said, "Hey, uh, Conan." I thought you were in Tel Aviv for Conan Without Boundaries. And I was like, <laughs> and I said, it's without borders. Right. I said, when I'm around, <laughs> when, I'm around, <laughs> when, I'm around yeah. when I'm around women on the staff, it's... Uh, <laughs> that's the Cinemax show. Yeah, yeah. that's the Cinemax show. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> right. It's for my own you know, <laughs> Yeah, no, it's... And of course, you can you can watch all those live streams. They're still up on our Facebook page, uh, and because you're probably watching this right uh, now, this live stream. A tour group. Live stream that's right. Yes, a tour group a, going by. A tour group yes, goes by, and they're going. Between, that's right. The camera's here. I'm here, and a tour group. And I decide to let them go through, but I don't realize there's about 600 of them, and they're they're all from Portugal. They're all Portuguese, and they're all in the same cruise boat. And I'm like. Hello, hello, sorry, yes, and they're, I'm like, where are you from? Portugal, 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 Portugal. So there's about maybe 15 solid minutes of me going, Portugal, 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 Portugal. Portugal. It's like an I Love we Lucy episode. The show, but it would have been, yeah, yeah. <laughs> an hour and a half, a seven hour show. Um, what was that experience like, Jose and Jesse, uh, uh, shooting in those markets. We went uh, and shot, I think, two kind of man-on-the-street things in markets like that. What was that like, and what were some of the challenges of shooting in that environment? Yeah, I mean, again, I'm always hyper aware of us not breaking things. Yeah. And we, <laughs> right, were, we yes. were always, we would, Conan would always stop right in front of like a tiny miniature glass <laughs> figurine store. Yeah, and yeah. so I'm like making sure the cameras also don't whip around and hit people in the head. <laughs> yes. And, um, yeah, it was really, it was it, really tight. It was so claustrophobic when you're doing the haggling thing and you were concentrating on it but but it's just a sea of people walking by we looked and the patriarch uh for the oh, eastern yes. orthodox religion wow was being shepherded through and he was around this big and it looked as old as some of the buildings and we're we're trying to get your to like <laughs> but he, it was just too it's crazy. tumultuous yeah. Yeah. Too, yes. too much yeah, going i mean on. These uh, some of these streets were designed thousands of years ago, uh, before the advent uh, of the remote shoot. So they, <laughs> <laughs> they, they really didn't. They got to think that through uh, when designing a city. Make sure it's wide enough for a, a wise ass and his camera crew, <laughs> or if giving birth to the savior. <laughs> yeah, larger area. Yes. For exactly. The yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. true. Make room for the, <laughs> the savior should have known. Exactly. Uh, he should have uh, said. Verit Kaplan uh, in YouTube wanted to know, where is the Alabama shop? Was that in the... That's oh, in that that Jerusalem, right? right? Yeah. In yeah. Jerusalem, it's right there in uh, one of the uh, shopping areas, and we rounded a corner, and <laughs> there it is. And yeah, it makes... makes it's, it's all old, Roll Tide, yeah. Go Alabama, yeah. <laughs> but, but it's, 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 it's in Hebrew, Hebrew and, Portuguese. and Portuguese. Yeah. you're wondering. <laughs> <laughs> and I, was, I said to them, like, you couldn't possibly, and they're like, we do a very <laughs> good business yeah. here. Two or three of these t-shirts so a day, right. they, they were very, he, I guess the owner is someone who had gone to, uh, to Alabama and... Uh, well, then you and, have to open a store. And then you have yeah. to open a store back in old Jerusalem. Most people, to be fair, when they graduate from that school say, it's time to go to Jerusalem. <laughs> <laughs> Small <laughs> shop. Open a roll yes. tide yes. shop. <laughs> Yael ba uh, Bartour from Facebook has a great compliment. You have no idea how many people you made happy. Tel Aviv was glowing and roaring with laughter the whole time. Oh, that's nice. That's really that's good. Nice. And also, uh, you know, John Sawyer from Facebook brings up a good question. Uh, where did you want to visit but didn't get to? I mean, we went all over the country, but oh, there's so many places to see. We, we were planning to do a shoot at a kibbutz uh, where you'd really get to see me and the, the iconic, like, I wanted, I wanted to be pushing, pushing a plow, plow yeah. strumming, strumming a guitar around a campfire, milking, um, a, milking a goat, and, and we got, I think, I think it was planned for later in the trip, trip and this happens, but you start, start to hit a, you start to really just hit a wall of like, I can't, 
I don't know if I could physically. That was I mean, day eight, I think. That was like day eight, and it's, it's you know, 108 degrees, and now it's time for you to push a plow, and it'll be, it'll be maybe we'll use it, and maybe we won't. Uh, you won't even roll footage. Yeah, and there have been... Just plow. There have been times, like, to do the... Uh, IDF when I trained with the uh, Israeli mm -hmm. women um, that in shoot involved me really doing the obstacle course that uh, that, that they all have to do, do to be that tw uh, 18 year olds or 17 year olds and 18 year olds do to get into the uh, you know Israeli army and I'm, I'm no spring chicken and it's just it's like go and do that Conan does that and sometimes the writers come to me and they're like we have an idea what is it uh, Conan, Conan mines for lead ore uh, for a day, and we shoot it. And I'm like, what do I do? Just you learn how to mine for lead ore, and you haul it out of the mines. And then we'll try, you know, if it's funny, we'll use it. If not, what's the problem? I'm like, how about I die in the mine? And the day that you worked out with the IDF was also the day that we were at the Dead Sea. So you were out in the heat, in the salt, in the mud, and... Uh, of course, you know, we don't, you know, we shoot a ton more than we use. So you were, you were already exhausted. And then we go, get in there and start get, working out. Put, start put on these out. weights. And that, but that was an example of, um, you know, Dead Sea, you're, you're looking into Jordan. And then we drove an hour and yes. a half. And mm -hmm. right. we're, at a, we're right near the Egyptian border. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. Yeah. and then we're up near Syria. And right. the only yeah. border, I was curious to go near Lebanon as well. Just it's... Right. Yeah, crazy yeah. that you're bordered by. There's the also more. Countries. You want to. We go to these countries, and then you want to go back because mm -hmm. there's a way that you're experiencing them when you're shooting these, sh when you're doing these shows, which is so work focused, and we're working all the time. And then right. we do take breaks, but you're constantly looking for what did we get? How would we? What could we get next? How could we do this? And this is a trip where I thought I want to come back here. Yeah. And be a tourist, and yes. look at these yeah. things. Like I, too. I wanted, to, I want to go back to Jerusalem. I would I'd spend like to... a week in Jerusalem. I mean, we yes. we had we did the we speed our tour. schedule was so tight. That we did a we did to do a speed tour of Jerusalem. It right, was it was just amazing. It is sometimes it's the travel equivalent of we're being served a nine course meal by a five star famous world famous French chef. And we're just jamming it in our mouths <laughs> That's true. in about right. ten, in about ten That's seconds, true. and yeah. then we're going. Blah, 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 blah. And then people say later on, "How was it?" Oh, it was really good. <laughs> uh, I think I ate it so fast, yes, and yes, I was under so yes. much pressure. Right. And so I'd like to go back sometime and 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 really uh, really be there. Yeah, I, I did that. We we went to Berlin, and then did a show there and yes that same thing like were mm -hmm. we there and then i had the opportunity <laughs> to go uh my, my wife had to go there in business and i went back with her on a week off a month later and i was like this is fantastic <laughs> <laughs> but i really felt yeah. like i got to uh, enjoy it uh, a whole yeah. obviously a whole different way right of course of yeah. course uh and uh so jenna mahani uh from facebook is asking do the people of israel know who you were i think i can answer that with the number of <laughs> selfies you took uh, on this trip. Yeah. I do about... think I may have broken a record for selfies. Yes. I am known for, I'm very tolerant of selfies and I kind of stick yeah. out and I look <laughs> kind uh, of. Yeah, I, I'm, people, people never think I might be someone else. They always know exactly who I am yes. and they want a selfie. Uh, but yeah, you know what? But you um, said during an interview there, by the way, it, I will. Yes. yes. I, I did. Joking. I, I <laughs> joking. thought I was joking. No, I, I said if you want a selfie, I will give you a selfie. And of course, uh, people wanted a selfie. I was surprised. Well, two things. Um, a lot of there were so many people I met who said when I was on an NBC in the late night show that they showed it for a good period of time in uh, Israel. Oh. So there were a lot of people I met who were now like in their 30s, and they're like, no, I. I grew up watching you. Someone told me, wow, I keep meeting awesome. people who say I learned English. Like, you were how I learned English, <laughs> which I think is tragic. Uh, uh, but, um, but also, I think it's a testament to this world we live in now where our, you know, our show, the, the Turner show, doesn't air there. Right. But they, I mean, so many people who know uh, us from the way you're experiencing us right now, they see 
uh, they see stuff uh, online, and that makes me happy. Like I said, I was just in London, and this little yeah. British boy, he looked like, uh, you know, he had just come from uh, inheriting Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. This little sweet English boy came up to me, he was like, are you Conan? And I said, yes, I am. And he went, may I have a photo with you? And uh, and I said, well, sure, little English boy. And, and then I went to take a you know, little urchin, would you, you know, uh, and then, I, and, then I, and then I said, yeah, you can't. I live with you. How can you have any pudding if you don't eat your meat? But then I, I'm like, putting my arm around him to take a uh, selfie and his mother said he watches you every day on YouTube he's always watching Whoa. you and talking about Conan and I thought well that's great bad parents you know? that makes me yeah bad parents <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I said I'll give you a lift in my lorry uh, <laughs> and they said uh, you're that's an idiot <laughs> uh, but I will say uh, as a uh, credit to you and, and everyone here uh, and apologies for, uh, from uh, all of us in the digital team it's become almost doing a second show because we are constantly Mm -hmm. filming you filming so but you know that what I like about that I mean yes are you annoying is Ruthie annoying Ruthie's always coming up to me Ruthie's yes. back there Ruthie um, Ru <laughs> Ruthie obviously more than anybody else Ruthie will I will just have done something where the, the these guys said hey it'd be really funny if you push that boulder up to the top of the goal, of the Golan Heights we may use it we may Iron not but it's, but it's funny so I do it in 110 degree heat and I get to the top and they're like it, it looked pretty good I'm not sure we're gonna use it but thanks and I'm drenched in sweat and, and just and that's always when Ruthie comes up and goes hey for flixnet dot jorb, um, can you do a thing where you you look at the camera and you talk for ten minutes and make a lot of jokes about what you just did? And I'm like, does this air on TV? No. Does it go on the internet? Sort of. It's more of a gas that goes. It's, it's, more of like, it's a gas that goes. Yeah. Up the glass. yeah. <laughs> but it'll seem by May, you know. And so, God bless her. She's always coming up to me, sort of like someone who's been told you have to poke that old bear, <laughs> and she looks scared. You uh, have to poke but you know what's really what's nice is that there's sort of two lives to these shows now because so many people followed us in Israel because of uh, what Blay and Ruthie were doing and and our digital team. It's really nice because in a way the show began when we started uh, we, when we went to Israel for the first time and started to make it. It used to be the old days, you'd go off and shoot something and then there'd be this voila, finally it is done and take a look. And now it's, I think, kind of beautiful is that it starts when we're there and so many people yeah. saw, oh, Conan's here, he's there, he's, you know, this is happening. I had so, so many people saw that Dead Sea photo of me reading the Israeli newspaper. Um, that, that the narrative begins there and then the show is the finished product, but there's a whole story that unfolds in between, which I think is neat. Yeah, absolutely. And it's kind of a, a companion piece to the actual show. Exactly. It's like the and the uh, notes in the margins. Ruthie Kiss <laughs> said, "Pull your shirt down." I think. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> People are seeing some. The filter on. That That's another thing too. Is that I am not a guy who wants people to see me without a shirt. I have the appropriate uh -huh. level of shame oh, that I should have about my. I didn't get into comedy because I was a killer-looking guy, and they keep having ideas. Everywhere we go, they're like, okay, it'd be really funny if you were completely naked except for a small piece of cloth around your cock. And I'm like, you know, how, just, people don't want to see this. They're like, it'll be good. It's a funny way to plow. Yeah, exactly. You should plow wearing this uh, maternity thong. And, uh, nothing else. So I apologize. I am not, they keep coming up with things where it's like Conan takes off his shirt and slowly gets into caramel and we <laughs> shoot it in bad lighting from eight angles. One of us must be attracted to it. Speaking of caramel, uh, Megan from uh, Tabak, uh, Megan from Facebook, uh, Megan, I want to say your last name, Tabak Waliki, that's an amazing name, says you spoke about eating just a few moments ago. What was the best thing you ate? What was everybody's favorite food? Oh. We ate a lot of food. Fresh fish? There was the, the really good. What a boring answer. Do you want to explain uh, also kind of how, <laughs> how we eat on these trips where people just kind of, we sit and people kind of bring us their, bring us just little. There's no order. We never order. We yeah, don't order. Yeah. 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 When we go to these countries, there's no ordering, yeah. uh, especially in Israel. They're so like, 
there they were they knew we were there right. they'd see us come in they'd see the freak and his posse and they'd be like <laughs> hey, here here sit sit and they'd be like and I'd say like you know maybe I'd see something I kind of wanted you right. know I might yeah. have the chicken nuggets <laughs> <laughs> and they're like no chicken nuggets for you <laughs> we're bringing you all of our most exotic dishes right. it's the octopus eye that's soaked in brine and <laughs> things start coming in but uh, yes the, it's amazing fish and um uh, you know, to say the hummus was really good is stupid. It sounds it sounds uh, it sounds too obvious, but it's some pretty it's, amazing. It was great. It was really yeah. good. Some pretty amazing yeah, it was hummus. Very good. I also had, but there were other things too. I, I had there was one night I think we got pasta, and I was like, this is amazing pasta, yeah. and it wasn't. So there were nights where you. Or eating something. Oh, we went to a like a Thai restaurant. Thai yes. Zoo in Thai. Tel Aviv. Yes. Thai Zoo. Yeah, we'll and <laughs> it was excellent Thai food. And that has happened um, a, a bunch of times too, where you think we're only going to be eating the food that would be on the Tourism Bureau photograph. <laughs> right. Right. The and, and instead, we're, we're at a really, uh, really good Burger King. That's you know? a, <laughs> a kosher Burger King. That's right. There was something that happened uh, during dinner. I hate to bring it up in oh. Jerusalem. Uh, does anyone want to uh, address where Jose might have disappeared? Oh, we all... well, we had shot all day. Yes. It was a very hot day. Yeah. And we all went we all to hotels. Let's hear his side of the story. Wait a minute. Yeah, let's hear, let's hear say, Jose. Jose, say, Jose, we all worked equally hard that day. We all day. worked <laughs> equally hard. And, then, all equally and then all hard. of us were supposed to meet for dinner. For dinner. <laughs> yeah. And we all were so there, but Jose alarm was... <laughs> in my room, in my hotel, to <laughs> get up for dinner. And Your little Europe. European alarm clock? I, yes. <laughs> it's made, made of, of Bakelite and has <laughs> made of Mars it's a because he's been through this. <laughs> and, uh, so I set my alarm and then I, I hit the snooze and I went back to sleep and then I suddenly wake up to n like a half a dozen texts. Where are you? Are you okay? People thought I had wandered off into the streets of Jerusalem by myself and they were worried for me because I... I we were, no, no. No one was worried. We were not, <laughs> no one was worried. I was not worried. No. I was worried. Uh, thank you. You're yeah. So I I panicked and I thought, oh, as a joke, <laughs> I'm going to go to the restaurant and appear in my bathrobe uh, <laughs> because I thought that it was just a little place of 30 people or so. <laughs> and uh, it turns out that the restaurant was huge. It sat about 200 people. And it's very fancy. And it's it's super fancy. <laughs> Clinton's eaten there. And I show up with my gag. I'm going to put on a, a robe. It'll be hilarious when you I show up at dinner. You even rolled your pants up. Yeah. So I even rolled like my pants up. So I look like a perv with so a trench he, coat. So he came in. <laughs> He came in to a country that's known a lot of trauma. He came yeah. rushing in, uh, doing his gag, uh, upset a lot of people. Physical comedy, yes. Uh, I, yeah. heard, I heard the laughs go from with me to at me. Right in the, middle. It was like, the turn. <laughs> yeah. It was the turn. And then I had to commit to the bit for the rest of the dinner. Uh, Didn't you someone guys ask to take a photo with you? I, I think I think <laughs> they were I, left, I, uh, I didn't want to be there. Now that you're here, what, what, what were you really quickly. doing? Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, I got a lot. No one, no one thinks no one you were asleep. No we don't think you were asleep. asleep. <laughs> I, I, I'm either sleeping or drawing or or walking. You were, you you were buying a vintage typewriter. Isn't that what you were doing? I was more buying a vintage typewriter. It's my weakness. So yeah. Yes, but anyway, I did show up to one of the fanciest restaurants in Jerusalem in a bathrobe. And, but uh, if there are any, unfortunately, I've they le they're letting me live it down. So if there are any unsolved murders from that evening, <laughs> that's, right. that's right. Look for Terry Claw. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Lady, killer, lady killer. Uh Ido Cohen asked, uh, speaking uh, uh, of looking uh, sexy, uh, Kony did uh, Gal Gadot teach you Krav Maga? She did not. Okay, she did not. How, uh, how did that come about? How did the Gal Gadot thing come about? Uh, Gal and I. Uh, you know, <laughs> oh boy, Gal and I. <laughs> Should we leave? Should we leave the room as you? <laughs> well, no, we. We uh, no, we uh, we shot a we actually shot a piece together before Wonder Woman uh, came out that yes. people uh, liked that was uh, a lot of fun. She is uh, an absolute dream uh, as a, as a person. She's just a lovely person and um, completely unaffected by how this uh, you know Wonder Woman has made her you know arguably the biggest female star in the world and uh, so. We, we we sort of suggested, suggested, hey, we knew that she was in Tel Aviv. Would you want to do a quick thing on the show? I thought eighty percent chance now that she, right. you know, is Wonder Woman, uh, <laughs> that that she'd probably want a little downtime and wouldn't do it. She said yes, love to do it, um, and she and her people set up the whole thing. And uh, 
I show up and she she was like, Conan, get in here. And she like punched me in the arm at one point and it really hurt because she's yeah. But um, it's easy to get lost at how incredibly beautiful she is. And, uh, but just talking with her and working with her, uh, she's, um, you would never know. You would never know that this woman uh, is now, you know, like the most bankable uh, star in the world. Yeah. Um, and the head of this really cool new franchise. And I do have to say of all the things that I have done, I got more street cred from my daughter. <laughs> all I did was take a, uh, was send the selfie of me with uh, and and and, uh, and Gao and sent it off to uh, to my daughter, and she just wrote back all caps exclamation point <laughs> OMG ah you know it went on and on and on and on. So um, I owe her for and I was we were so thrilled that she. Yeah. Played a part in it, and of course, as always, uh, I'm the creep who strikes out, <laughs> and uh, she's the patient, beautiful woman who can't wait to shut the door. So. And, and I, I was really impressed. She was so funny at improvising. I think we yeah. only really did one take with her. We, we did one take. Yeah. Yeah. That was it. I mean, it was just she knew. No, it. she knew exactly. Yeah. She's been hit on. Yeah. <laughs> she has spent a lifetime. Yes. Uh, trying to close the door on, <laughs> on, cre on creeps <laughs> like me, really? so she know exact she knew exactly what to do. She had a sense memory. <laughs> she had a sense memory. Uh, I think we only have time for just a few more questions, uh, but here here's one to maybe start the wrap up from Ariana Lingenfelser from Facebook. My favorite thing about laughter comedy is that it is such an international language. Do you find that everybody laughs at similar things, or do you have to uh, change it depending on? Where you are, Jose? Do you want to start with that? I, I think there's. We always go in with Conan as a fish out of water yes. and uh, trying to get his his bearings in a new place. And people there are so eager to help him <laughs> that uh, that the, the comedy comes from him trying and failing. And uh, so there are some universal things. I think. That, I think there are many. Yeah. I think there. Are more universal things than not. Than not, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. um, Mining iron ore. <laughs> yes, yes. Especially with the language barrier, right. you're, you're, you're sort of resorting to uh, sort of the language behind the language. Right. Is, uh, mm -hmm. Gestures but I, and efforts. You know, we saw this, I mean, with the first show in, in Cuba, there were so many people that they didn't know, they don't know who I am, they don't know um, what I'm all about, but my, my uh, happiest moments or when, whether we were in the uh, cigar factory in Cuba, right, mm. right. or whether I'm in a, you know, um, talking to a rug merchant in Armenia, or, you know, whether I'm in uh, South Korea, just talking to some, you know, older people I run into on the street. There are all these moments where they don't speak the language, they don't know who I am, but if I can get them to laugh, I just, I, I, it's it's my it's sublime. It's my happiest. Right. Those are my happiest moments because there's all these universal things, and one thing that I've noticed that people love over and over and over again is me trying something and then getting sad because <laughs> it didn't work out. And, you know, American audiences have been watching me do that for you know uh, 24 years now, but just getting real enthusiastic and then realizing it didn't work and. <laughs> Just becoming crestfallen and looking sad and um, and losing confidence, having confidence and losing confidence, and I've noticed that that's kind of universal. Like it doesn't matter where I am, right. they're like that man. He was so confident, and then it didn't work out, and he's sad. <laughs> I laugh at you now. <laughs> right. Um, uh, and 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 finally, I mean, of course, whenever we do one of these uh, live Q and As, uh, one of the questions we get the most is. Where are you going next? Where are you going next? Where are you oh, going man. next? Iceland, India, Russia, all these people are wanting to know. Singapore, it's just the questions are pouring in. Mm -hmm. Any idea where we're going next? We had a joke, we were joking, <laughs> we were joking that Israel was so, was so uh, much work to, yes. get it, to try and get it right and to try and be sensitive to so much and to try, and, and it's been such a chore that we've been saying like the next ones that the Four, you know, Four Seasons Resort right. on Maui. Yeah. <laughs> and Maui. It, yeah, Conan, Conan and Maui. Conan and Maui, the Four Seasons Resort. And it's just yeah. for a month. Yeah, for a month. And, and, it's we, just, and we don't shoot anything. It's shots of me, like, napping. No, we shoot Conan stuff, but it's like, yeah. yeah. Conan gets a deep tissue massage. <laughs> Two weeks drink. in, we realize we're yeah. still in the United States. Right, right. So, oh, this is uh, we love... Um, Pretty much every place you mentioned would be a place I'd love to go, yeah. and so we don't know. We don't, and, and and this is like today is the first time we've been able to 
relax because we right. were editing this show and these guys were editing this show up until the last second last night and feeding it beyond to the last uh, beyond, beyond the last second yeah. Yeah. several yeah. minutes uh, last Sweeney thing. had to run it to People individual homes last <laughs> night <laughs> 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 he made a flipboard <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this you're seeing us the next day waking up realizing that's over and um, you know we're not, I, I can't even begin to imagine thinking about the next step, mm -hmm. at least until four o'clock right. this afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Well, it could depend on news and if something, I don't know, something big's happening in the world somewhere or Trump decides to build another wall somewhere. <laughs> right. right. Um, Wherever there's a wall. Wherever it is, I think it'll be a place where, <laughs> where Conan will find a challenge. Uh, yeah. uh, Conan has a masochistic streak and I'm out of his punch range, so I can say this. Um, <laughs> but he likes to, he likes to challenge himself. Oh, I love he likes to challenge himself. So, you know, I know. Yeah. so I'm guessing. I'm guessing, I'm Jose, guessing. Jose, you know what it's it looks like? like? How to <laughs> video. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, it, you it really does look <laughs> like Jose is pleading with his relatives to come up <laughs> with the ransom money. I, I'm, I'm being treated well, but they have a good cause. Right. Here's today's okay. newspaper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um, whatever it is, it'll be a challenge. Conan's always looking for a challenge. That's, uh, that's what I mean. No! <laughs> yeah. No, I do. Uh, I probably have a masochistic streak, but uh, I... I do sometimes want to go someplace where we, we don't make a funny show and we don't really work that hard and uh, somehow we trick Turner into paying for the whole uh, thing. Yeah. And it's just a lot of room service and a lot of us just like, did you sleep well? I slept really well. Yeah. What are you reading? I'm reading uh, The Vinci Code. Oh yeah, me too. You know? I hope Turner's not watching. They're oh, trust not. me, they don't, they're, they're not watching. I'll tell you who is watching. Jordan Parsons on Facebook says big aloha to the Hi, whole Jordan. crew from Hawaii. Oh, Jordan! That's right, Oahu. Hello. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. we said Maui. We said Maui, though. Yeah, we yeah. said yes, right. So wrong you, out, wrong out. Out. Yeah, you got to oh, get great. to that other island fast. Right, exactly. <laughs> Oahu's um, beautiful. I think so. Before we kind of wrap things up, uh, you know, uh, is there something you want to say to everyone we met? Uh, you know, in, in Israel, the people we met, uh, both there and the West Bank, uh, a message for the people watching at home, either in Israel or not in Israel, about our trip. I think. Uh, it would be important to note that there was a lot of speculation because it's such a divisive place that the minute we arrived in Israel, that was I think there was some paper that said, oh, Conan's being paid by the Israeli government to come here and show for the Israeli government. Not true. I mean, I wish they said we were getting money. I, I would kill for that money. If, they, if someone left money for me, I never got it. Um, there was a lot of... Uh, uh, speculation. Uh, I think when we went to, you know, the West Bank, there were people saying, "Well, why is he going there?" There's, there's a, there's a lot of hot button topics there, and I did want people to know very sincerely that our intention was uh, to go and to really try and keep it simple. Meet people, try and make them laugh, make friends, make friends with uh, Israelis, make friends with Arabs. Uh, and try and find common ground through just things that we can universally find funny. Yeah. And uh, that was our, there was nothing else. And um, obviously there are going to be certain people out there that want to read in some kind of intention. And as honestly as I can say, we really did go there uh, to, to try and make people happy, make people laugh. And uh, when I watched the show last night, I thought, oh, I, I think we, I think we did that, and so that makes me uh, very happy. So I wanted to say to, you know, people, whoever we met, whoever we talked to, thank you for being so warm, so uh, welcoming to us, and being such great improv partners. Whether it was in uh, Tel Aviv or the West Bank or Jerusalem, everybody uh, was so. Uh, open to to us and to uh, playing along, playing with us, and also, you know, occasionally telling us really how they felt about things. And I thought that was a beautiful experience.
Absolutely. So thank you to everybody. Yes. Toda. 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 Ah, Toda. Toda. That's Toda. Right. Mm -hmm. Toda. That's right. Yeah. And thank you to YouTube and Facebook for joining us. Thank you, everybody. Uh, and thank Don't you, of course. Get Flixnet. That's right. Get Flixnet. Get yeah, Flixnet. And also, Ruthie wants to shoot a 40 minute piece <laughs> with me for Sparks Fly. Sparks Fly. <laughs> uh, it's a new startup. <laughs> and all they need me to do is work really hard lifting weights for an hour. <laughs> and then that becomes a lick. Liquid that's injected <laughs> into your retina. That's right. Thanks. And six people see it. <laughs> Jose gets the last word to camera. Yes. <laughs> Jose, well, I'll, get up close I'll, and plead for your life. Happy you... Rosh Hashanah. <laughs> You're treating me well. <laughs> uh, thank you to Asif, Roni, Neve, and everyone at Now yes. Pro. Yes. Avi and Shlomo. Everyone. Everyone. Everyone on our Israeli and Palestinian crews, Gal yes. Gadot, of course. And uh, you can go to uh, teamcongo.com slash Israel to see a whole host of extras, including uh, Nighttime in Jaffa, uh, uh, a Waze Remote, uh, and all sorts of other oh, stuff. Oh, and a quick other shout out. Yes. Uh, the show Fauda. Fauda. It's just oh, yeah, starting. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's on Netflix. And um, the, the people who make the show Fauda, it is an amazing show. Yes. If you like The Wire, if, basically if you just are a fan of really well-told drama, this is an amazing story that actually I think tells, uh, actually portrays the conflicting feelings and emotions uh, that exist in Israel very well and uh, without good guy, bad guy. And it's a beautiful show, Fauda. You should really watch it, Check and it I, I did a I get yeah. a guest spot on that, and I I think it's going to be become a thing here in America, and I'm encouraging people to watch it because. Check out that first season. You can binge watch it, and you will not be able to stop. You will not be disappointed. And finally, uh, Conan uh, did a bar mitzvah, oh, right. uh, and you can win uh, one of these <laughs> oh, boy to you. man shirts. Uh, oh, follow us on Facebook for a chance to win the boy to man shirt. <laughs> boy to man shirt, and uh, that good. is uh, you, you know you oh, just trust me. <laughs> trust me, you're going to be the only one that has this. That's right, exactly. <laughs> and uh, thank you uh, again to everybody watching. Thank you everyone to who uh, everyone who we met over there, and we will see you very soon. Conan Israel, TeamCoco.com slash Israel. Thank you guys, and we will uh, see you next time. Bye. Peace. Peace.